The Jericho Appreciation Society commencement. Dude, I shouldn't have talked so much at the beginning of the show because I could go on for hours. What brilliance. Hours on this. First of all, we've mentioned... And it's not just the brilliance we saw. Okay. I got some ideas. I see. I see. First of all, before we get into this segment, in uh, this segment, I just want to note how great Chris Jericho is at finding different ways to say cutting a promo. There's a commencement. There's a summit. There's a team meeting. There's a retreat. There's a dinner debonair, whatever it is. Well, you know there's going to be soon? A contract signing. There might be. There might be. Bro, this is the greatest gimmick ever. The gimmick is he's a sports entertainer. Yeah. If you want to go over all the details, you can, but let's just cut to the chase. Yes. His fucking gimmick is he is a sports entertainer in AEW. In a pro wrestling promotion. Bro, there are a million things that you can do with this gimmick. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. I think I think if you sat down and wrote everything, remember his list of holes, 1,002 holes or whatever? Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure you could get a million things you could do with the gimmick of being a sports entertainer. I mean, they need to fucking beat some guy down, and Jericho needs to be screaming to the cameraman to fucking zoom and cut. I mean, there's so many fucking... He needs to have these guys come out in suits, because, of course, Vince wants everyone to be in a suit. Sure. I was a little disappointed that he's having everyone use their real name, because that's actually the exact opposite of what you would do in sports entertainment. He should have renamed everybody. Like, uh, Jeff Parker is now... Uh, what's his gimmick? Uh, that would be Cool Hand Ange. <laughs> no, it's the other guy. That was Jeff. Oh, no, it's Jeff Parker. That's right. Yeah. And Matt's... Uh, Daddy uh, Magic. Yeah. They, he should have not used their real names, but just said, he's now Daddy Magic, and the other guy is Cool Hand Ange. It's now all gimmick names. Yes. And give give, give Jake Hager, who we all know his name in AEW, he's got to have a different name. And, uh, you know, what's his face? Uh, uh, Daniel Garcia. Mm-hmm. He's definitely got to have a different name. That's way too generic a name. Jericho's got to trademark all their names. Maybe each week he'll name it. Yep, yeah, yeah. yep. Oh, man, there's so many things you can do with this. Well, what happened was uh, the men who were formerly known as 2.0 began to speak, and they're awesome, and they're here with a legit main event or a, a big-time faction, they're going to do stuff, and they were in, in NXT forever and could barely get on television. So he says, I know you all love singing Chris Jericho's song. It was up to me to be no sing-along, but Chris Jericho lets you do it. That's why he's a better man than me. That's why he deserves to be praised and idolized for his contributions in this industry and as a human being. He's now, he, he's no longer uh, the pain maker. He's no longer the uh, demo god. He's the influencer and the big one, Chris Jericho. Jericho's there. He's like, like gray jeans and he purple jacket, purple gloves, and purple shoes. This is a brilliant look. And he begins to talk. You've been lucky enough to live through the Jericho era, living vicariously through me as I have a great matches and angles and promos. <laughs> Dude, you're missing the best line. All right. The earth has been here for 4.5 billion years. Yes. And you people are so lucky that you just happen to be living during the time that I am here. Yes. Yeah. What a fucking line. I... Even I've never used that line. I like when he says, first he says, with no with no Chris Jericho, there's no AEW, you're welcome. And he's right about this, which is what makes it so great. He says, y'all take me for granted, you insult me on social media. I read what you write, it's very hurtful. That made me laugh. So, we can't relate, eventually he gets to the, the point. We can't relate to the former inner circle, or their buddy Eddie Kingston, or anyone else on this AEW roster. They are nothing more than pro wrestlers. Pro wrestlers have never been legendary. Pro wrestlers have never been millionaires. I am a legendary millionaire because I am a sports entertainer. Boy, did these people fucking boo. Oh. They bit it. They bit hook, line, and sinker. So Garcia does a little bit. He pretends to protest, but then says, I, too, am a sports entertainer. And Jericho starts to talk about January 6th, and I thought, oh, no. And then he says 2019. I thought, oh, good. <laughs> What happened on January 26th, 2019 was that Daniel Garcia and other wrestlers were in a terrible car accident. And Jericho, not knowing any of them, donated thousands of dollars to their medical bills and recovery. And Garcia recovered from a terribly broken leg, thanks in part to Chris Jericho's donation. Now he's staying tall here. That's why Garcia appreciates Chris Jericho. Bro, am I the only one on this fucking planet that saw how brilliant that thing was right there that he just did? 
In fact, I'm not even sure if he did it on purpose. But if you've ever watched WWE, they love putting over their fucking charity work. Oh, yeah. They love oh, yes. putting over their charity work. Yeah, we just work. watched the... Yeah, I always have. The Stephanie, retro raw we just did, yeah. Yeah, Stephanie did that fucking line once where she said that, like, uh, what the hell was that line she used? Something like, you know, charity work is all PR or something. I can't remember the word. She had some... Like, it was so tone deaf that you would actually say something like that. And, you know, Jericho... We all hear about things here and there, donations he's made, etc. But, I mean, he's done tons of stuff that nobody has ever heard about. And he doesn't go out there and and trumpet it to the world. But this character is now putting over how he donates to people out of the goodness of his own heart. Exactly like WWE does in all these shows with all their video packages about all the wonderful things that they do for charity and this and that. And he... Then Jericho gets into his no more fake name spiel. No more 2.0. That's a stupid name from Bad Creative. We're going to use their real names. Daddy Magic, Matt Bernard, and Cool Hand and Angelo Parker. You know what he should have done is he should have changed all their names to like, uh, you know, Matt Lee is now Lee Matthews. Yes. And Jeff Parker is now Parker, Parker Jeffries. Jeffries. Yeah. Oh, man. God. As much as I liked it, I'm angry. <laughs> There's room for improvement. So Jericho talks about how he met them. He got a call from his former best friend, Kevin. And Kevin says, my friends got fired. Please put them on your podcast to try to get them a job. And Jericho did, and he liked them, and he got them a job. That's why they appreciate him. And Jake Hager, of course, has had his back since 2010. He saved my life in Dubai, he says. He is the hand of the king. And Jake Hager says, we are the J-A-S. We beat up pro wrestlers. Yes, everyone. Eventually, this this Jericho faction and this Regal faction are going to collide. It's obvious. But anyway. Then, as if... <laughs> this is actually the most brilliant part, I think. The very end. <laughs> because it's, it's... You ever go to a magic show... And uh, I, I went saw Penn and Teller once, and they shot guns at each other, and they caught the bullets in their teeth. That was the big finale. They didn't. What they did not do after that is say, "We have just done a magic trick." <laughs> you know, they don't need to explain it to you. But Chris Jericho outright says, "There you have it, the latest reinvention of the last true genius, Chris Jericho." He's probably about the curtain is not that doesn't go far enough. He's just. Explaining what he's doing, he's he, he, he's well. That is another WWE thing. That's also true. Let's let's presume you're really fucking dumb and hold your hand through this yes. and explain it to you, you fucking dorks. Yes, that the, the the more you peel back the layers, the more meta this gets. It's 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 fascinating. But he's the latest reinvention of the last true genius, Chris Jericho. A new era begins. The era of the sports entertainer, which I thought actually was a great line. But uh, his closing catchphrase, of course, is "That's entertainment." And he plays music. This show was so awesome. We're not even to the end yet. I'm like, all right, this. I'm in love with this show. It was a great. Dude, this show was great. Way better than last week's show. Yes, uh, this is the best show in a long time. This is a, a, a rare, rare quality episode of Dynamite. Google Tiger Jackson wrestler, and then go into images, and then go into gifs. <laughs> he does all these spots where he spins on his head. I'm crying. And I'm supposed to be watching this stupid show, but I just keep watching Tiger Jackson spots on Google. I hereby induct him into the Matt Cleary Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you, Craig. That's two to that's two to zero or whatever. Aye. Okay. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.